Welcome to Fate of Ukraine channel. Operations have been intensified again in one of the critically important regions of the East. Ukrainian armed forces are getting stronger on this front with newly arrived military equipment and one of the best drones in the world. Although the Russian army attempted to attack at the front, it had to retreat, losing nearly 30 soldiers. President of Ukraine made critical statements about the region. Head of the European Commission announced the support for Ukraine and the new sanctions to be applied for Russia. War now takes shape in proportion to the relations between the countries. Russia's losses began to reach an irreparable level. War now proceeds depending on the developments taking place, especially on critical fronts. This makes the operations carried out on the fronts even more critical. As it is known, Russia has suffered heavy losses due to strategic mistakes since the beginning of the war, while Ukraine can gain serious advantages on many fronts thanks to its strategic moves. While this causes the Russian soldiers to face major defeats on the fronts, it ensures that the Ukrainian soldiers are getting stronger. This time, important developments took place in the Bakhmut region, which is located in Donetsk, the critical front of the East. According to the latest news, Ukraine-made high-end Raber 3 drone has been sent for Ukrainian scouts and sailors in this area. In his statements on the subject, Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Digital Transformation of Ukraine Mikhailo Fedorov said Ukrainian army has been strengthened with the highest-end Raber 3 systems provided by the Ukrainian company Skyden. One was given to the scouts in the Bakhmut fortress and the other to the sailors. Fedorov also reported that these Raybird 3s are one of the best drones in the world in its class. According to the statements, the system consists of components such as two unmanned aerial vehicles, launcher, antenna system, portable ground control station, camera, camera and radar. In addition, this Raybird 3 can fly all day in all weather conditions. This will provide a great advantage for long-term reconnaissance flights. Moreover, it was stated that it is resistant to electronic warfare of the Russian forces. At the same time, 90 J.I. Mate Resem 30 Terra Leaders quadcopters were also delivered to the Ukrainian troops in Bakhmut, according to the reports. Increasing military equipment in the region shows that the operations will increase even more. Although mutual clashes have taken place in this region since the beginning of the war, the expected success does not come from either side. However, the Russian army continues to suffer the heaviest losses in this region, no matter how hard it tries. Despite this, Russian stormtroopers are reportedly trying to break through the defensive line of a Ukrainian border unit on the outskirts of this Bakhmut district. However, these troops also retreated with heavy losses. According to the statements from Ukraine, Russian troops tried to break through the defense line in the region and targeted the positions of the Ukrainian forces with unmanned aerial vehicles. However, these aircraft were detected and destroyed by the Ukrainian troops. It was reported that the Ukrainian defense forces then maneuvered and called for fire support. As a result of the motor bombardment, the numerical superiority of the Russian troops was seriously reduced. As a result of these attacks, the Russian forces dispersed and tried to escape. After the use of many weapons against the important points of the Russian troops, it was reported that about 30 Russian soldiers were neutralized. As a result of this incident, the Russian troops became regretful of their attack. Since the beginning of the war, the biggest losses of the Russian army on the fronts are due to such unsuccessful moves and the military capabilities of the Ukrainian army. If this situation continues in this way, the Russian troops will not have much of a chance on this front. It is also known that this region is important for many reasons. One of these reasons is the proximity of the region to logistics and industrial centers due to its location. Side that dominates the region will have a serious advantage. Intense conflicts in the region are expected to increase in the future. At the same time, President of Ukraine Volodymyr Zelensky made remarkable statements about this region. Zelensky stated, No one will hand over Bakhmut. We will fight as best we can, 
and stated that the Ukrainian troops will not withdraw from the Bakhmut region on the Donetsk front. In addition, the head of the intelligence center of the Estonian Defense Forces, Colonel Margot Grossberg, stated that by holding this Bakhmut region, the Ukrainian troops gained time to create new defense lines and it is possible to withdraw from the region soon. As it is known, one of the most important situations in such operations is relations between countries. Because in this way, either the support increases or the sanctions are exposed. In these matters, it is known that the advantageous side is Ukraine. This time, European Commission President Ursula von der Leyen made important statements about sanctions and support after the Ukraine and European Union summit. Line noted that in line with the rapid recovery plan for infrastructures damaged by Russia, the first billion euros has been allocated for the restoration of these points. As it is known, Russia has been carrying out damage-oriented attacks since the beginning of the war. This will cause the ammunition used by the Russian soldiers in the attacks to be wasted and these points will be restored with their repair. With such financial supports, it is aimed to start restorations as soon as possible. In the past days, the Prime Minister of Ukraine has stated that the losses caused by the war in Ukraine could reach 750 billion euros, with his comments on this issue. President of the European Council, Charles Mikkel, stated that the seizure and use of assets worth $300 billion from the Russian Central Bank for the restoration of Ukrainian territory should be discussed as soon as possible. This will cause Russia's attacks to harm itself the most. In addition, European Commission President Ursula von der Leyen made critical statements about the new sanctions to be applied to Russia. Line stated that the value of the sanctions package to be implemented will be approximately 10 billion euros. At the same time, he stated that Russia has paid the price for such sanctions and that this new sanctions package will be implemented until February 24. Within the scope of this sanction package, Russian military machines will be prevented from reaching the necessary technologies, and for this, components in equipment such as unmanned aerial vehicles will be examined. It has also been announced that the Russian nuclear industry and rocket program will also cover this sanction package. All these sanctions against the war will largely determine the fate of the countries regarding the war. For these reasons, the relations between countries and the mistakes made in the war are now of much greater importance. In the long run, any steps to be taken regarding the war and all the decisions made by the leaders will start to become much more critical. In the following process, it will be of great importance to plan all kinds of moves in a strategic direction. Now each step has become even more important than the previous one. If the successes of the Ukrainian army on the fronts and the strategic mistakes of the Russian army continue, it will not be possible for Russia to compensate for its mistakes due to great losses. This may even cause them to withdraw completely from the war. If it is desired that the Ukrainian armed forces achieve greater success on the fronts and drive the Russian soldiers away from the regions in the future, the support provided must be increased more and more. In these days when the violence of the war has increased considerably, the decrease in the defense and attack power of the Russian army over time will make it almost impossible to achieve success against the Ukrainian army. Moreover, as it is known, Many of these soldiers are soldiers who have been mobilized with insufficient training. This makes it much more difficult for them to achieve success on the fronts. In the coming days, it will be a matter of curiosity which side will move forward with more successful steps and what successes they can achieve. In this direction, it is imperative that both sides proceed with extreme caution. Now everything depends on the steps taken. This increases the tension between the countries day by day. We'll see what happens in the next few days. We have reached the end of another video. You can support us by liking the video. You can easily follow new videos by subscribing. I wish you all a war free day. See you.